Hey hobbyists, Brendan here with Privateer Press. Today we're going to battle against the cold, so bear with me as I show you a new technique for painting fur. Let's get started. So here we have a troll blood battle bear. I've already went ahead and base coated a large section that I'm going to focus on painting with wet blending. Uh, but normally I would do this over the entire model. Now to achieve wet blending, I've went ahead and already mixed up and got out the paints I'm going to need. It's a very fast technique. You want to be able to jump from one color to the other as you're blending because that's why it's called wet blend. You want to blend while the paint is still wet on your miniature so it's easier to have your paints already out. I have Menoth Watt Highlight and I want to blend this color all the way to Troll Blood Highlight. Now I went ahead and mixed up an intermediary color which is also the color I used to base coat the bear. Um, it's Troll Blood Highlight mixed with Menoth White Highlight. So I'm going to go ahead and take some of this Menoth White Highlight and I'm going to apply it to the top of the bear. I would recommend using a somewhat bad crusty brush just because you're going to want to be fast and quick with this and that usually means your technique might end up hurting your paintbrush a lot. So I want to apply enough that it's going to take a while to dry. I also want to apply enough that it's going to be a solid coat on the miniature. Now I'm going to clean off my brush and I'm going to apply the base coat right underneath it. I want to be quick. So while it's still wet, I'm going to take a fresh brush and kind of mix the colors together right on the model. All right, now I'm gonna to wanna to do the same thing, but this time I'm gonna start with the troll blood highlight. I'm gonna mix in the dark shadows below. Now this technique works for all fur or all manner of things. Right now we're painting up a bright white polar bear type fur, but this also works really well for any colors you, you wanna to mix together. After I've gotten that base down, that dark base, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the intermediate carrier and do the same thing I did above. One of the strengths of wet blending is your ability to blend two colors that are drastically different in smooth transition. And you can be fast and quick with it, and you can just quickly mesh in another color as it's drying. So now that it's dry, we can see that we have a nice smooth transition over the surface of the battle bear's chest. We can easily mix in some other colors if we want some more dramatic shades. Um, we just want different tones here and there. Um, but this is a really good start. We could be done here and we can move on to dry brushing, but we're going to add some more colors. So we're going to start with some great coat gray because I want to use this as a deep, deep shade just to get some more depth going on. And I want to do that into Troll Blood Highlight since that is the closest shade already there. Kind of, kind of line around it, edge of the side. And then quickly, I'm just going to try to blur those lines between the Troll Blood Highlight and that Great Coat Gray. I'm kind of stamping and swirling my brush around, whatever it takes to get them to kind of blend together. All right, that'll look good once everything else is painted up. I don't want to be too extreme with the shades because it's fur and it should be more subtle. So next, I'm going to use a little bit of Underbelly Blue to create some color contrast around the armpits. Just gonna jab it in there. I'm gonna use the middle color tone. Align it. And I'm going to use a clean brush, try to blend them together a little bit before it's all dry. And if it does dry, it's not a big deal. You can apply some more and just blend. It's not really a perfect art. You're just smushing wet paint into wet paint until you get the two colors to mix. All right, now we just wait for that to dry. And now that that's dry, we have some nice Menoth White highlight that blends in the Troll Blood highlight, but also goes into the underbelly blue under the armpits and goes deep into the Great Coat Gray just giving us a little peek of the deep shade. But now we're gonna finish it off with some highlights. So the easiest way to choose your dry brush colors is to just kick up every color up a notch. So for where it hits Troll Blood Highlight, we wanna dry brush with this mix. Where it's this mix on the model, we wanna to try to aim to use the Menoth White Highlight. And where it's the Menoth White Highlight, we wanna go a kick up color, which will be Mara White. Now this is a little extreme, so I'm gonna go ahead and just Grab some of that Menoth White highlight and mix it in. I still want it brighter, but I don't want it bright, bright white. Yeah, that'll work. So I'm going to start with the Troll Blood highlight. I'm not using a typical dry brush, but I want a little bit more control. So I'm just going to use the edge after I've wiped off enough. And I'm just going to scrape kind of down the side like this, starting some of those highlights. I'm just trying to pop out the very top edges of these. As you can see, it starts to happen. 
All right, and next I'm going to move on to the Menoth White Highlight. I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to go up more. Just trying to edge highlight the dry brush here. I'm trying to get the edges. And I'm just using the edge of my brush to just be able to do this pretty quickly. All right. And lastly, I'm going to move on to the, my brightest color here. This Menoth White Highlight plus Mara White. I'm just going to scrape it with the edge of my brush, going up the model, the very top. And this is going to be the extreme highlights here. Now it's subtle, but that's kind of what we want with fur. Fur isn't normally very reflective. All right, we're going to clean it up and we're going to see how it looks. And now that he's dry, he's all done. We can apply this technique all over the model and keep practicing it, get better. Wet blending is very effective. Now all I have to do is complete the rest of the area and it'll be ready for battle. Now our Northkin Battle Bear is looking quite fur ocious. Join me next time and we'll shed some light on our model with some object source lighting. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos and check out the links in the description below for more in this series and additional information on the P3 Hobby Line. Let's go, buddy.